Good afternoon, everyone. Now there will be a detailed instruction on how to change the firmware on the FlySky FSI-6 equipment, and in the nearest future there will be an instruction on changing the firmware on the FSI-6X model. To do this, we need uh, such a programmer. A link to the programmer and to the firmware itself will be in the description under the video. Unscrew the back cover. Disconnect the connectors. Now we connect the programmer. The names of the contacts on the programmer correspond to the names indicated on the board in the equipment. So we connected the programmer. Programmers are 5-pin and 4-pin. In our case, the 5th pin is RES. We will connect it. If you have a 4-pin programmer, then you do not need to connect RES. There is not much difference in this. Now, we go to the official website, seger.com, select Downloads, J-Link. Be sure to register on the website. Depending on the operating system, select the program. In our case, it's 64-bit Windows. Click Download. Install the program. J-Link program J-Link program version 7.6.0 We connect the programmer to USB. Run the J-Link program. Create a new project. Select the processor parameters. The processor is MKL16Z64. Click OK and select the firmware for the equipment. This firmware will be available at the link in the description. We go to the menu Target, Connect, and Programming is completed. We turn off the programmer 
disconnect it from USB and remove the connectors. We connect back the connectors of the back cover and assemble the equipment. The firmware is installed. You need to activate it. Click OK. Select the activation point. Knowing the identification code, enter the password. After that, save and see the inscription activation. You can change the language for your convenience. Now you need to bind the receiver. For this we go to the binding menu, bolt settings, binding. We put on a jumper and apply power to the receiver. The system automatically exits the binding menu. The receiver is connected to the equipment. Signal level data and equipment battery voltage are transmitted. Now you need to calibrate the hardware. We go into the hardware settings, select the calibration section, press start, OK, set all the sticks to the central position, including the knobs. Press OK, then move the sticks and knobs to the extreme position. Press OK. Calibration completed. To access the calibration, click Cancel. When the autopilot is connected, we see the following data. The number of visible satellites, the quality of the signal, the voltage in the boat, the voltage of the remote control, the distance, the number of the selected point, the number of the water body, and the depth from the depth gauge sensor. You can go to the depth gauge menu See it's functioning. Now the sensor is directed to the ceiling and we will smoothly lower it to the wall. This screen displays depth data, the distance to the home point from the boat, the number of the water body, and the number of the selected point. You can change the language and everything will be in Russian. This firmware for FlySky FSI-6 and FSI-6X equipment will work with any autopilots. Currently it works with the Explorer autopilot, with the FB Pilot V Pro autopilot, 
And in the nearest future, there will be a controller that will work exactly the same with this firmware. The functions of the depth gauge, range finder, light control, unloading education, <coughs> and much more will be implemented. More details on the channel. Thank you all for watching.